Oh my goodness. I'm trying to get back into a routine. Yay! Hi, good morning. That's kind of my little mental health update. Stop looking in my eyes. Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times, so I know my way around. Don't stop looking at friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog so today I thought it would be fun to do a little morning in my life I know some of you have asked me you know what do you do in your mornings because I'm always vlogging like my work days in my life or you know work weeks and I feel like I don't really show a ton of my morning mainly because I don't think that it would be interesting to you all but I know some of you do want to see it nonetheless I'm gonna be sharing with you all this morning in my life oh so sorry oh my gosh if you're new here here. My name is Selena. I'm an economist and content creator in the Washington DC area. I create a bunch of lifestyle, productivity, and health and wellness journey vlogs. So if you're into that sort of thing and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. But with all of that said, I woke up this morning. I showed you all. I usually just make my bed. I try to put on another outfit. It's usually still a very comfortable outfit since I'm working from home. I like to have breakfast and coffee in the morning. Usually my breakfast lately has consisted of of toast with butter I'm not even gonna lie and coffee but today I'm gonna have I think some waffles that's like a step up for me so some protein waffles and I'm gonna make myself a coffee I also don't usually show you all like me taking my medications for depression I did show that today because that is a real part of what I do in the mornings and I just don't know what you all would find interesting so please let me know in the comment section below if you all care to see this stuff if you want to see you know more of what I really do throughout my life besides just work then let me know and I'll definitely make more videos like that I usually take my medications with a whole glass of water before I have any coffee I feel like I never show myself drinking water and mainly because I really don't drink enough water I do try to have at least that glass in the morning with my medication unless I forget which does happen sometimes definitely a very real look into my mornings also whenever I have dishes from the night before or whatever I tend to try to put those away in the morning so I think I'm gonna do that right now but first as you all know I gotta make my coffee make my protein waffle and just kind of try to wake up try to wake up for the day but I just wanted to welcome you all first so with that said if you do enjoy videos like this make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you liked it and make sure to leave a comment down below I love chatting with you and I respond to every single comment and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications and with that said I'm gonna go make my coffee because it's it's a must this morning. You know I've been blind for years and I've been crying all these tears for a reason that came in when I'm seasons. But I want this to stay.
So I recently found, well, I recently tried these waffles. They're Vans Blueberry Protein Waffles. And can I just say, these waffles are so freaking good. I love blueberry waffles. I love blueberry flavor on pancakes, waffles, toast, you name it. So it tastes really, really good. And the macros on this are really good if you care about that sort of thing. For two waffles, you get 10 grams of protein, which is pretty good for waffles. It says per container, 18 grams. I guess if you wanna eat the whole box, you could get 30 grams of protein. Not sure why you would eat the whole box in one sitting, but hey, maybe you're really hungry. No judgment here. But those waffles are so, so good. If you haven't tried them out, you definitely should because they're delicious. I can't believe it took me so long to actually try these waffles. But you know, I tend to stick with the things that I know and love so that I don't waste my money on things that I might not like. But this, this was a good one. So definitely recommend. Gonna have my coffee. Gotta clean up the living room. I kind of left it a mess last night. So the morning is also kind of like when I reset. I'll clean up the kitchen, put away any dishes. I might wash a couple of dishes and, you know, kind of tidy up the living room so that during my work day, whenever I need little breaks, I can come to my couch and it actually feels calm and relaxing because, you know, it's clean instead of messy like how it is right now so I'm gonna do that while my waffles toast If you've watched literally any of my other vlogs, <laughs> then you already know that I enjoy my slow mornings. I, I really can't have it any other way or else I will be really grumpy. I feel like I'm very irritable in the mornings. Like right now even, if David was here, I feel like I'd be like very snappy with him. I'm only relaxed because it's just me. I actually really enjoy being just alone and just with myself in the mornings. I don't like to be bothered. I love it to be quiet. And I just love to have this time for myself, especially before work. I hate when I have to wake up and go straight into work, which recently has been most days. So I don't recommend it. I'm trying to get back into a routine. My therapist tells me that it's really good for your mental health. Oh. My waffles are ready. But she says it's really good for your mental health, especially for me to have a routine, to force myself to do things like go for walks or drink water, <laughs> all of those things that are really good for you. That is something that I'm trying to reincorporate into my life. Again, as I mentioned in my weekly reset video, I am just trying to take it day by day and take it slow and try not to be hard on myself so for me right now this is a really huge step up just waking up early enough that i can have coffee and breakfast i truly and this might not be the healthiest thing so definitely don't think of this as a morning routine that you should follow but i like to just either put on some music depending how i'm feeling i might listen to worship music or i might watch youtube videos which i think i'm gonna do today it's because i really like to watch something while i eat and i'm not gonna lie typically i have my breakfast whatever I'm eating while I start my work day but because I am filming I don't really want to start my work day while I'm filming so I'm just gonna share this with you all before I sign into work I think my friend Rachel posted a video today so I'm really excited for that but I'm actually gonna save that for my work day because sometimes I need to have like a video to take a break and usually I'll take like a coffee break some point in the morning and watching my friends videos honestly just gives me so much life so okay so I'm gonna play something on YouTube but first I need to go get my waffles because they're ready and I don't know how you all like to eat your waffles I usually don't add syrup to waffles that are like flavored so I just eat them by themselves dry I don't know if that's weird but these waffles especially taste so good by themselves like they don't even need flavoring or syrup or literally anything because they're already really kind of like I don't want to say the word but moist <laughs> they're just very soft it doesn't feel like I'm eating something super dry and they're really flavorful. So sometimes I might add whipped cream though. I'm a sucker for whipped cream. Okay, so they're actually currently too soft. I think this morning I'm gonna watch a self-care vlog. Hopefully that'll give me inspiration to do some more self-care like I've been wanting to do, but we shall see. Let me take up all the love you're showing. I need it more than air. And you know that I've been suffocating. 
Okay, I lied. I'm probably not gonna watch a self-care vlog because Catherine Manning just posted a video, so I lied. I'm definitely not gonna watch a self-care vlog. I'm gonna watch her because I love her. I love her vlogs, so I'm just letting you know because I don't want you to be like, wow, Selena, you said you were gonna watch a self-care video, but you totally didn't. Not that anyone would say that. Anyway, let's proceed. Be the one to help, but my issues are nauseated. I don't wanna bring you down. I just want to be free from the free and feel love for the first time I just want to love something about me See something to open my eyes Don't want to be the only one with the house key Have something I'm proud of I wish we were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me And we'd be out of sight, out of mind Driving windows down with your hand in mine So I completely forgot that I actually had a doctor's appointment, like a psychiatry appointment this morning. So I actually had taken off time from work because sometimes we have, you know, some discussions that can be a little bit heavy. And so I took some sick time to not only have the appointment, but also just to kind of mentally allow myself some time to release some stress afterwards. I guess what I'm trying to say is like sometimes after therapy, because it's a little bit heavy, I like to have some time to like reset set thing to myself that's what i did so i took an hour extra off of work thankfully because today's conversation was a little bit heavy just know that i am doing what i need to do and my psychiatrist and my therapist are both helping me to try to find a solution to make me feel better from my depression that i openly share with you all so i just wanted to give that little update because you know this is a morning in my life this isn't a morning routine because a routine is like showing you all what i try to do every single day this is is just a very real morning in my life and I happened to have an appointment today that I actually forgot about but I'm very thankful that we have the ability to have virtual appointments because it has been life-saving for me especially with someone with depression who it's so hard for me to leave my apartment sometimes I actually don't think I've left my apartment in the past two days I've just been home the entire time haven't even gone for a walk and I was explaining that to her and she just kept saying like we need to change our medication because it's not in impacting you in the way that it should and I'm not a psychiatrist so I have no idea how medication is actually supposed to help or to what extent it's supposed to relieve your depression but apparently when I was telling her how I have no motivation and I still wake up you know hopeless with intrusive thoughts and just not feeling the best to not go too much into detail she said that's the depression and we need to change up my medication so that's what we're gonna do I am hopeful in the sense that I feel accomplished and happy that I am at least working towards a solution for my depression and I mean I'm not saying that my depression is a problem but it is something that I definitely want to alleviate because it is to the point and if you're someone who hasn't lived with depression you can be depressed but not have depression like it's possible to feel depressed for a couple days for a week because of whatever experience but if you're someone who lives with depression like I do it's like this cloud over your life on a sunny day where it follows you everywhere and you have all of these thoughts and dreams and ideas that you wish you could do but it's like there's always some little shadow trying to hold you back that's how it feels right this is all symbolic obviously I don't think there's a little cloud over my head but that's how it feels it's like every day feels like a rainy day like every day feels like I gotta stay indoors because I don't want to get wet it's such a weird way to explain it but it's truly hard to explain if you haven't lived with it but just know that I feel like I have to explain that because because living with depression is not just being unmotivated like you can be unmotivated you could be someone who just you know it's hard to get yourself to the gym but if you have depression like I do it's like having that lack of motivation it gets exponentially multiplied because on top of not feeling motivated like you have this cloud like over you yeah I hope this doesn't bring you all down but this is just how I feel how I'm feeling what I'm dealing with and as you all know I try to be as honest as possible about my life and and open about it especially when it comes to mental health because I think this is something that shouldn't be a stigma or weird to talk about that's kind of my little mental health update for you all but I'm gonna watch some YouTube try to wind down and
and get back into work mode mindset. I actually ended up watching my friend Rachel Vin's morning routine. It was amazing, super inspiring. She always outdoes herself and she inspires me. So if you haven't checked out her fall morning routine, you definitely should. It's unlike any other morning routine. I just got a notification that I got a package downstairs. So this will be the first time I leave my apartment in a long time, at least 24 hours. So I'm gonna head downstairs, pick up my package and let's see what I got. So I just picked up my package and I'm so excited because I think I know what it is. So let's just open it. So I just ordered this pumpkin pie pure made pumpkin sauce and I'm so excited. I ordered this like a week ago or something and it took a little bit longer to get here. So I wasn't sure what I was getting in the mail, but I was so excited. Okay, so now I have to make another cup of coffee because we are testing this out. I need to let you know if I recommend this or not. I don't think like that she says to me. I can't help but feel the subtleties. So if it all expires, I guess the date's not what it seems. But I can't help it, boy, she says to me. I'm not sure I truly gave my best. Made a home, but still feel like a guest. If I've made just one mistake, it's not speaking with my chest. Oh my goodness, this looks literally amazing. Do y'all see this? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to try this. Mmm, this is so good, y'all. It's so perfect. I love it because you can taste the pumpkin. It's semi-sweet. I use less than a tablespoon, honestly, in the side of the milk frother with a splash of oat milk and cinnamon. And then I didn't even get to use all of it, so it's really not sweet at all because there's still some leftover that I'll add into here as I drink it. I topped it with a dollop of whipped cream, cinnamon, and a drizzle of the pumpkin sauce. And let me tell y'all, this is so good. Such an amazing fall treat. And you should definitely try it out because not gonna lie, this is much better to me than PSL from Starbucks because that one is honestly too sweet. But don't come at me in the comments. So I don't know if you know this, but my thumbnails are pretty much made from screenshots of the video because I just like to make sure that the thumbnail is as accurate as possible. Usually I try to sneak in, well, sometimes I try to sneak in at least one photo that I took to make sure that there's at least one photo that's a little bit, you know, set up, aesthetic, whatever. So I'm gonna take that right now. So I took a photo for my thumbnail, but I also took a photo to share on Instagram. If you're following me on Instagram, you pretty much get to see everything in real life or live. Anyway, you get to see my daily updates and I just posted a picture of this to let you all know that the recipe would be in this video. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this and see what I do for the rest of my morning before I log into work. So I hope that you enjoyed this morning in my life vlog. As you saw, I just took it very easy. I still need to put the dishes away, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just gonna do that during my lunch or during my late afternoon break. It's still the morning right now, but I'm about to log into work. So I know that I'm not really gonna take any breaks and I won't be able to vlog. I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I make sure to leave a comment down below. I love chatting with you all. I respond to every single comment. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a single video from me. I post a new video every Sunday, Wednesday, and most Fridays. So make sure to follow me on Instagram so you can stay up to date and you can participate in any polls for upcoming videos. And with all of that said, I will see you all in the next video. When I first met you, then are you nothing? You were just sitting on the couch with that rejection.